Hello, here we have our solitary bee house. Solitary bees are very interesting animals. I'm just going to tell you a few facts about them. Did you know that there are over 250 species of solitary bees? None of them produce honey and none of them have a sting. So they are really, really good for children to observe close up and you don't have to worry about your dog or your cat getting stung. There are different types of solitary bee and you can tell which type they are by looking at how they seal off each of these tubes. Some of them use leaf and they will use the leaves in your garden by cutting out with their mouth little circles and sticking them together using their saliva. Other solitary bees will use mud that they will take up in their mouth from the ground. And then you've got tunneling solitary bees that obviously tunnel down into your lawn. The female bee does most of the pollination. The male, his main role is just to breed. So he emerges first from the box and he will spend time here at the front waiting for the females to emerge. And in this time, the males will determine who is the lucky man that's gonna be the one to mate with all the females. And this will be decided by a vicious duel that ends in death. So only one male will survive and he will then wait around here for the females to emerge. And pretty much as soon as the females emerge, they will be mated with, the male then dies. When the mother puts the baby bees, the bee eggs, down the tube, she gives each one a little bit of pollen and nectar. She mixes the two together into a little paste that she plants under the baby bee so that when it pupates, it's then able to eat something so it's got the energy to break out and then to emerge out of the solitary bee box. The female bees, when they're flying around, they will be pollinating all of the flowers and when they are ready to lay the eggs of the baby bees, you'll see them looking for their ideal nest site. So they won't just fly into one hole, they will fly in and out looking for just the right conditions and then one mother bee will fill a whole cell. The following year, the baby bees will then come back to this box and lay their young there. 